Hey guys, how you doing? As you can see, my room has all changed. No more boring background in the corner over there. Although I did get my lovely um, piece of art from Maroon Daughter, so that spiced up a little bit. But my room has completely changed. Um, I would give you a tour, but it's so tiny and a mess behind the scenes. So you don't want to see that. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm here for a product review. This is the first time that a company has actually contacted me to do a product review for them. But um, yeah, mixed chicks. They contacted me, a lovely lady from there emailed me and um, basically asked me to do a product review on their products. Now, like you, the, t the word mixed chicks put me off. When I first encountered their name, their brand, a while ago, I was a bit put off because of the fact that it, it sounded as though it was targeted at just mixed chicks and I was a bit, it's a bit wrong in my eyes anyways but she did let me know that um, it's not just for mixed chicks it's actually for people of all backgrounds with curly hair textures um, but I think they might need to rebrand their name or something because it does put a lot of people off but you know whatever just just call yourself curly chicks or something that would be a good name i'm not here to just diss them i'm here to actually review their products so she sent me two boxes of um travel and trial sized products which has a shampoo deep conditioner and a leave-in conditioner in it um so this one's a closed pack obviously i've opened the other one and she also sent me little hair bands but you know, I've seen a lot of people with these nowadays, they've become a big thing. I've used one, as you can tell, it's a bit stretched out. But I have short hair now, so um, I do not really be using them. But I did use it in my hair. I did try it out, and it works. It doesn't tangle up the hair or anything, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, it's a bit, a bit odd to think it doesn't tangle your hair because of the shape of the coils. But I guess because your, your hair is curly and coily, then it kind of just works with it. I don't know the size behind it, but yeah, these are good. Go get you some of them. I know loads of people would sell them now. Um, so, I actually tried out their products last night, and all I have in my hair right now is Mixed Chicks products. So what I did is I went from the shampoo to the deep conditioner, then to the leave-in conditioner. And what I can say is, the shampoo, it does have Lauren sulfate. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Is that even how it's called? Leave <sighs> Laurel, Laurel sulfate. Mm -hmm. I was very skeptical about using it because I don't use shampoo often, especially not one with, with like sulfates in. And um, so I did use it, and my suspicions were correct. It did strip, strip my hair to the point where it felt like, you know, when it feels like plastic. Is it plastic or that weird kind of? And you can hear the squeakiness of it and you feel like anything will just break it right now it did do that but then again it did cleanse my hair a lot which was the point of it i suppose with cleansing comes stripping and my hair did need a good cleanse my scalp definitely um but i don't know how often i'll be using it if i do use it again basically and with all of the products the smell puts me off because it just reminds me you know that that when you go to a hotel you get that cheap shampoo and it all has the same kind of smell or the same kind of smell that you can buy from um like the corner shop a shampoo from there or from like Lidl's one of those shampoos it has that just cheapish kind of shampoo smell which I'm not a fan of um and a lot of the products don't actually use natural ingredients well from what I could read anyway so um that's another downside of it but the good side is that I moved on to the deep conditioner which is actually really good I've been looking for someone who just sold a deep conditioner you can't really find them on the shelves that easily you can find leave-in conditioners just conditioners a lot but deep conditioners aren't really that popular for some reason because people tend to make them themselves and I've always made my own deep conditioner and um, so I've been looking for the lazy way around it and this is actually a really good deep conditioner I just put it on my hair after using the shampoo I was praying like please let this add moisture back into my hair and it did like 
put it on, put a Tesco's carrier bag over my head, wrapped it around with a towel and then sat there and watched an episode of Orange is the New Black. So after about an hour, I went to the bathroom, took off the cap and then I washed it out and it was so I was so happy how moisturized it was because after that stripping I needed all that moisture and goodness back into my hair I'm not too sure how good the goodness is because I don't understand anything on here apart from fragrance <laughs> so I need to do more research into actual the ingredients or products to know what's going on but it says it softens and detangles and yeah I could say it did that it did um so I recommend the deep conditioner definitely and then I moved into the leave-in conditioner which I now have in my hair so usually when I wash my hair nowadays I've only had this cut for about two weeks now and within those two weeks I've been using um, either my eco styler olive oil gel which basically sets the curls and makes them like hard so you, they don't move around that much which is good for when I do things where I want more shine and stuff so like a photo shoot or something so that helps um, and I've also been using Art Jackie's Curl La La for that and it, the curls they stay but after a while you have to keep refreshing it basically which is easier to refresh than um, gel because the gel makes it hard whereas the Aunt Jackie's is more soft and I can say now this is very soft like if I wanted to comb it right now I could kind of thing whereas with the gel or something else I really couldn't so I'm feeling it you can see it on the sides and it made my hair so juicy but I have a friend who says that it, it, the leave-in conditioner dried out her hair but it didn't leave it didn't dry out my hair at all my hair still feels moisturized and it still feels fine like if I maybe in a few days because when I in the morning I have to spray it anyway to refresh the curls a bit because my hair sticks to my head when I sleep and I look like a cone head but um, yeah, I didn't have to add any oils to it or anything, but I would like during the week to just add that moisture back in and seal it in. But this leave-in is good as well. So I'll probably be using the um, deep conditioner and leave-in conditioner on a regular basis. The shampoo, I don't think I'll use it again, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's my product review. Uh, do check them out. I'll put their um, link in the description box below they are they have loads they do have loads of other products um like a paddle brush as well which is good i like how they have uh, products and also like tools i don't know if that's the word to use oh yeah they have kids stuff as well they even have a little um little can you see it little dolls i don't know because i know in america mixed chicks are quite big because they have soap as well but in england they're not as um known they even have their own straightener. Wow. They're branching out. Yeah, I'll definitely, anyways, I'll definitely get um, the deep conditioner and use that. And then the leave-in conditioner, but not the shampoo. Any questions, please leave it below. And follow me on Instagram, on my blog, on my Facebook. Um, on my Instagram, I have been drawing designs lately, if you have seen them. I have to really just solidify them and then I'll start like getting them out there but yeah I hope you have a great day peace